So it's about 11 o'clock, something like that, quarter past 11 maybe. Um, just been chilling this morning, having a chilled, relaxed morning. Day off today is a Friday, Friday the 13th. So hopefully everything will go okay today. Um, I've got a food shop delivery due from 12 o'clock. Um, I've had a busy week this week. I was in all day, I was in half day Wednesday, all day Thursday, um, and I was in charge on Thursday. Um, I was meant to be on my own all day, but we had a little mini stock take so the manager came in for part of the morning excuse me and then he left at about one o'clock and so I was on my own for the rest of the day till about six o'clock and it was very exhausting because I'm not used to being on my own in the store so my fight or flight responses were quite heightened. Um, I'm used to having lots of shoplifters coming in and that sort of thing from my previous job, which I was in for 14 years. So it's still ingrained in my cells, you know, and the, um, that there's possible threats even though I don't have that now. Um, so I was kind of preempting that. So I think it was Wednesday night, maybe Thursday morning, I sorted out a food shop to get delivered um, just for ease and less stress today, to be honest. Um, I might have been up to it, but erring on the side of caution um, I thought I'll just get it delivered um, also this morning I have been working on some blog posts the last one went up a few weeks ago so I'm a little bit behind with getting those done um, I had um, a few weeks off of social media of posting anything on Instagram, YouTube, my blog, anything like that. Um, it was about a week and a few days, about a, yeah. Um, maybe nine, ten days, something like that. I just felt that like I needed a break um, from posting. Um, I was coming towards the end of doing the Hart University's Real Boot Challenge. Um, Hart Reels Boot Camp Challenge, that's the one. Um, and it was quite intense to be 
posting reels every day and trying to come up with new ideas as things were starting to impact me personally got professionally as well um, I think I've mentioned I might not have done actually um, my colleague at work who has helped me so much both professionally at work and also personally with my mental health and my faith and my whole outlook on things he's going to be going on a sabbatical for 12 months so it's impacted me a lot more than what I thought um, as it's kind of getting more um, sorted out and the, you know he's put his paperwork in and that sort of thing and the divisional manager is you know supportive of him in this choice um, so it's just kind of hit me more um, as it's coming more of a an actual thing that's going to happen rather than oh well it may or may not happen um, so I've been struggling with that but I know that it's the best thing for him at this point um, and things happen for a reason, good and bad. We don't know who's going to come in in his place. Um, and I think that might be also part of the anxiety that's being kicked up because, you know, we, there's the unknown kind of thing and I do struggle with that. But it might be better. You know, whatever happens is God's plan. And that's what I need to focus on, um, which is what I've kind of been doing this past week. <sighs> so, yeah. So I'm trying to get back on posting on my social medias and things. Um, I've got a vlog going up today um, as I'm filming this, which is a vlog that I filmed a couple of weeks ago. So as these things tend to work out, um, I'd filmed it, I think it was April 21st, um, and then I didn't get a chance to edit it, um, and so I managed to do that this week, I think it was. Um, so that's going up today. So that'll be the vlog before this one. Um, which was my last Thursday vlog for the foreseeable. Because now Fridays are my day off instead of Thursdays. So this is the first Friday vlog. Welcome to a Friday. I'm going to crack on with a little bit more work for my social medias and drink my cup of tea and wait until my food shop arrives. So the food shop's been delivered early, it's about half past 11, so that's always a win. So I'm just going to get this unpacked and get it put away. Annoyingly, they put the substitute in bags, so that's a bit of a pain.
checking my delivery notes. They didn't have the salad things that I was after, so lettucey stuff and some spinach. So that was fine, I guess. Um, they substituted the eggs and substituted one of the sauce, stirring sauces for the Don Mio sun-dried tomato one. I've not had that before, but we'll try it. So there's nothing about about hummus and there's nothing on the list of things that they did have that I should have had it. I vaguely remember there being issues with it not being in stock, that was it. Yeah, they didn't have <clears throat> the ones that I normally get in stock. I think they only had like the Moroccan one or something and I don't like that one. Um, so that's why there's no hummus. Quarter to twelve, not sure what I'm having for my dinner. I know I've just had a food shop, but um, I think I was going to have cheese on a cheese batter. I've got um, crackers, crackers and cheese, that'll do, um, with some hummus. And then I got some, um, I think you pronounce it focaccia, focaccia. Um, crisps um, that I saw last week when I went um, sea salt and rosemary dipped them in my hummus very nice just a change from breadsticks so I got two packets of those and then I got the balsamic vinegar one as well to try that um, see what that's like because I don't mind some bal I don't mind balsamic vinegar but I don't like normal vinegar okay what have I got to watch today got the rookie to catch up on so I'll probably get that done and then this more this afternoon should I say I need to look at getting some tasks done for some reels um, get brainstorming some ideas for the next set of reels um, that I'm going to be filming this week um, I'm sorry that was so zoomed in I do apologise I did not notice um, yeah get set up with some prepping some reels to film um, that I can do this coming week. It's been a couple of weeks since I've filmed these for you. Easter cactuses are really blooming. So they started to bloom Easter week I think um, and then it's taken to now to get them as they are so a little bit delayed in blooming for Easter but they're blooming nonetheless and that is the most that I've ever seen on there um, as well so they obviously really love the kitchen windowsill ones the one I've got in the front room, living room, isn't blooming quite so much. I mean, there's a lot of buds on there, but it's not blooming like that. You know, the flowers haven't opened. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I mean, there is a couple more on there, on these ones in the kitchen, that haven't even opened yet. Um, so that's going to be very very pretty it's been so long since i filmed i've got two batteries that need charging so put them on charge this one was just running out um it's also that time of year where you don't know quite what to wear I had a jumper on before because it was cool now i'm warm so i take my jumper off so these are the kettle bites sea salt, rosemary, rosemary, 
and extra virgin olive oil. Really, really good. So if you see these, grab a packet. Why is this battery flashing as well? <sighs> so out of the three batteries I've got for this camera, all three needed charging. So one is obviously now charged. It is now 20 to 2. So I've had my dinner. I've also popped the washer on, get some of that done. And I've also been brainstorming some ideals for some reels to film. <sighs> um, probably get some of those done on Monday. Um, I'm just feeling a little bit meh now, for want of a better description. <sighs> um, don't quite know what I fancy doing. Um, yeah, I might just see what I can watch online. Um, see what YouTube videos I've not seen I can catch up on, that sort of thing. Um, there's no point forcing things. Um, <clears throat> you know, I could work, you know, do some work on my blogs or whatever, or brainstorm some Instagram content, but it's not really going to be worth it because it's not going to end up being usable sort of thing. Um, and I'm just feeling like I just need to chill for a little bit. Um, you know, I've done a fair amount of work on my social medias today, so um, no issue with me just chilling. Um, Monday does tend to be the more heavier day for creating content, to be honest. So day I do tend to kind of crack out a lot more. Um, writing of captions and hashtags and that sort of thing. Um, you know, it's good to get those done, but it's also important to know when it's time to put the brakes on and have a rest. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, hopefully this time I'll remember that I'm vlogging. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little while. It is five to five. Um, I've just been chilling this afternoon. Um, just watching some YouTube videos and just resting. I've got the oven on because it is time to make my pizza for my tea. Um, not got the spinach because they didn't have it, but I do have some courgette, some tomato, some spring onion, and then obviously I've got pineapple as well. I am going to advocate for pineapple on pizza every single time. Um, so yeah get this pizza made, have some tea. I've actually found some leftover spinach, so it's probably perfect for going on top of pizza. I've also got, I'll clip you around, courgette, a couple of spring onions, got a beef tomato, some mozzarella cheese, oops, some mozzarella cheese, and then Gonna grate some of this red Leicester as well, and then I have got pineapple chunks. So that is all gonna go onto this plain base.
go. My pizza ready to go into the oven. So here's my cooked pizza. Time to slice up, add on some of this good bagel condiment. As you can see there isn't actually a lot left of it from when I showed it you a couple of weeks ago. Well technically it was in last week's vlog but filmed a couple of weeks ago and I'm currently watching Catherine Manning vlog and I've just had a notification that Tara Michelle has also just uploaded a vlog. So I'm going to finish watching those, get the pots done, get breakfast sorted for tomorrow and then settle down for the evening. I think I might watch Chocolat with Johnny Depp in. I've not seen that in ages, so I think I might watch that. Breakfast is prepped for tomorrow and pizza is cooling for lunch tomorrow, leftover pizza. So I've just got some lemonade and I've got some snacks and I'm going to pop on chocolate to watch. So it is 20 past 9, finished watching uh, Chocolat and um, the making of it as well that was on the DVD. Um, yeah, good film. Johnny Depp who plays Rue. There's some bits where you can see Jack Sparrow, um, which I thought was a little bit weird. Um, it's obviously, you know, this, this was filmed years before Pirates of the Caribbean films. Um, but yeah, it's one of my favourite films, um, is Chocolat. It's a good pick-me-up film 
um, for me. Um, yeah, good, good choice for the evening. So I'm going to go <gasps> head up to bed. Um, I've got work tomorrow, and then I'm off Sunday, Monday. No idea how much footage I've got today. Um, I'll have a check, but most likely there will be enough for at least a 20 minute vlog. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today guys. I'm going to end this video here so I can go to bed. Join up a bit, chill out. I'll tell you. I got out some sketchbooks and some of my art supplies this week. It's been seriously years since I drew anything. Um, and you know, I used to do kind of, you know, I've, my my background is art and design, creativity, that sort of thing. Um, you know, that's what my degrees in, and that sort of thing. Or my education is creative, um, <clears throat> but I'm not used to drawing without a brief if you know what I mean, um, you know, because obviously at art college and that sort of thing you get a brief, you have to do research, sketches, all that sort of thing, um, and I'm used to doing that, so I've not drawn or painted for many, many years because of that, kind of like not, I was struggling to kind of create something without a purpose as such, um, you know, without a guide or whatever, um, and my ex also took away a lot of the passion that I had for drawing and painting, um, and it's one of the things that I've, I've missed doing, to be honest. Um, you know, growing up I was always drawing and painting, um, you know, my brother was writing stories, I was drawing and painting, um, and I remembered this week that what I tended to do was have my sketchbook and pens and pencils or whatever out while I was watching TV and, and things, so, um, you know, just kind of just make marks on the page, you know, it doesn't matter if it's perfect, it just ma matters that I create, you know, it's getting over this idea of perfection with within my artwork, um, like I've been getting over the idea of perfection at work, um, and with my social media as well, it's just tell my story, you know, um, and I can kind of do that, kind of getting over perfect, the idea of perfection and kind of, you know, that kind of thing um, with my artwork as well. Um, so I did pull out a few of my sketchbooks just for some ideas of things that I can possibly work on. Um, like this one here, working on different ideas of leaves. Um, and then some more stylized kind of ones. And then they evolved again. even notes of colours there, different colourways and then I did some in with a pen line as well. Um, 
yeah, it's just, like I say, just creating and um, just getting marks on the page, looking for, what, the, what was it? You know, I mean, even just kind of, oops, general doodling, throwing pages all over the floor now. Um, you know, just kind of nighttime scene there. Um, you know, just an idea out of my head that I thought of. Um, but what I was doing earlier was. Um, no idea if this bit is going to be in the video or not um, but I was just playing about with some ideas of something that I used to do ages ago um, I think there's one in here there we go um, just you know random lines circles that sort of thing and then I just add colour in between whatever colour was speaking to me at that point um, I think for that one I was listening to some music no I was watching CSI New York Season 3, Episode 3, Love Run Gold, apparently. And that was 13th of October 2013. So, um, I can't remember that episode. It's been decades since I've watched it. Um, well, nearly a decade, probably. Um, but no, I was just inspired to try and do that kind of style but with actual objects um, so pardon me I like bits of both of these so I'll excuse me I'll probably work out which bits I definitely want to kind of put together into an image and then work on that um, definitely bedtime now. <laughs> definitely bedtime now. Um, so I'm definitely finishing the vlog here. Head up to bed. And I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>